Hey guys. Get that. Cassie found something here. It's the size of a nickel. Give me a buffalo nickel. Give me that buffalo juice. Oh, I gotta keep digging some more here. Let's see what else we can get. I found myself a bucket lister. I got a crotal bell. It's a weedy. You found a weedy? Yes. Sweet. A Walking Liberty 1943 half dollar. Oh my god, it's freaking gorgeous. You got an Indian? Oh my god, Cassie got an IHP. Needless to say, I am a happy camper. The blackberries are starting to get ripe. Mmm, gonna eat me a few of these things. Oh yeah, look at those right there. A whole bunch of them. If I don't get anything else today, at least I'll get some of those. And a lot of mosquito bites. I am at an interesting old school today. I'm in the back section of the grounds. Old school that was uh, decommissioned a while back. It's uh, no longer usable. It is uh, condemned. But it goes back a ways. It's an older spot. So we're trying to see what we can recover today. So far, all we've recovered is a few blackberries and some mosquito bites. The mosquitoes are definitely out. Holy cow. They're like warbirds right now. But uh, we're going to give it a try. Down this section here is sunny. Uh, as I start getting down there, it'll get hotter, but at least the mosquitoes hopefully will start leaving me alone a little bit. I've been in the shady spot so far, so we're going to see what we can find today. Uh, I've got good hopes, kind of. Um, I thought I would have found something by now. I've made a just a single pass and starting to round the bend to go back out toward the street. Um, and all I found is a couple of shallow... Um, memorial pennies but I got hope somewhat there's something somebody missed if they've detected here before and I'm gonna see if I can find it stay tuned here's a better look at the school probably can't see much of it because I got the Sun there probably got a Sun flare but I made my way uh, I'm just doing a perimeter made my way along that side back in the back and I'm working my way down this wood line and right here way down there pretty darn deep I got this teeny tiny little signal and right over here I have a teeny tiny little object um, it could be silver could be play money could be garbage but I figured we'd take a look together because it is so thin I think it is play money though it's so light I don't want to scratch it let me uh, let me spray it down real quick and see what we got. I think we may have, have play money, but like I said, or it could be it. You know, now I thought it might be something broken off, but there's just gook right there. See it popping off. It's crust, and I think I see a classic, like a coffee cup symbol or something that was on play money. Hang on, let me clean it up a little bit. All right, let's see if we can zoom in on this and take a look. Okay, see there's a 10, and on the, down at the bottom it says 10. And if I flip it, there is, it says something, dime, coin. Play coin, dime. Oh, one thin dime. I think that's what it says. Play coin. And the coffee cup. These I think date from about 1950s. So this is a cool find. Not as old as I want, but still a cool find. That sucker was so deep for me to pick this up too. I'm very surprised. It was every bit of seven to eight inches deep. So let's keep going. Well, I think I just got my first wheat penny for the day. Uh, 
I got the wheat penny. See if I can figure out what the date is. It'll be right down here. Uh, let me rub this up a little bit and see what it is. And it's not that old, just a little bit older than that play money that I found in 1844. But uh, you know what? We'll take her. That shows there's some promise here that's in the silver range, so wish me luck. Really interesting, isn't it? It's erected 1911, so it's got some age. Not finding the goods yet, but we're keep, we're we're gonna try. Well, might not be silver. No, <laughs> I don't have silver, but I got the next best thing almost. You know, pretty much for me, I love finding these. I got an Indian head, and when I dug it up, here's how the plug came out. You got to see this. This is really cool. <laughs> you couldn't get much more obvious than that, could you? Uh, it's sticking out just like a sore thumb there. That, that's really cool. I, I had to share that. Um, this one was coming in a bit goofy. So, of course, I had to dig it. We have a 1903 Indian head penny. Awesome. Definitely will take that. Alright, I got another something or other here. It's either a wheat or an Indian. It's ringing up really funny because... There was a piece of iron in it, and this looks like it's going to be a wheat. Uh, I can't tell what that says. Oh, there we go. 1920? Is that what that says? Oops, I dropped it. Something like that. We'll keep going, though. We're beginning to find some decent stuff. All right, we're going to take a look at this one together because I thought this was a wheat penny. I started rubbing it and I could see the wreath peeking through. We got another Indian head. Nice. Flip it like that. See if we can get a date. Ooh, we might have got into the 1800s. A good 1800s, too. 1865. Heck yes, we will take that. And this looks like it's going to clean up beautifully, too. Let me uh, let me get a fingernail on it real quick. We'll take a look. Heck yeah, look at that. I just took my fingernail and kind of scraped a little bit of the schmutz off as it started to dry. It didn't really do a whole heck of a lot. But that is beautiful, isn't it? On the other side, looks like it's going to clean up pretty good, too. You've got plenty of the bars in the shield there you can see the little individual striations between them so this is in really good shape that's not bad for 1865 I will definitely take that heck yes not a bad day so far good good idea coming here all right this was down there looks like I just one up to the Queedy count so I think it is three to two Weedy to uh, Indian head. And I can't tell what that says. 1949? Is that what that says? 1940 something. Sun's, yeah, 49. Just got through having me a snack of some mulberries. There's a beautiful mulberry tree right behind me. And they're ripe and they are delicious. So sweet. So, so is this. So we'll keep going. Alright, I think I just made it 4 to 2. Yep, that is a wheat scent. I think. Yeah, there it is. It's coming through now. One scent. So right along here. Should be a date. Uh, let me see if I can get this take, uh, cleaned up a little bit and see what it is. This one almost was a, uh, another wheat pit. Or a... Indian head, look at that, 1913. I don't think I've ever found a 1913, so that may be a first. We'll take that, that's that's definitely nice. Hey, focus. 
Where's that 1912? No, that's 1913, yeah. Cool. We'll take it, that's for sure. Alright, I'm back over in the gravel area, and it is hard to dig in, but I just found myself a buckle. It is nothing super old, probably 50s or 60s silver wash, but I got a buckle. I guess that's my culture for the day. Alright, let's zoom back out. I'm in this dirt area here, a gravel area in the back. See, this is all gravel. It's really hard to dig through. Get back on the back side of the school here. There's like a concrete pad, a play area, something. I don't know what it was back there. And this area over here is fill. And if you take a look, there's like a line that runs up through here. And I think most of this is fill. It's old fill. And then back over on that side is old dirt. I did just get a wheat penny out of here, though. You can see the one cent there. Uh, and if you zoom in on the date, I do believe that says 1920-something, but man, is it crusty. I think we're going to find stuff back here, but it's going to be in pretty bad shape. We're going we're gonna to see if we can get it anyway. Alright, got me a banging signal here. Coming up like silver. And there in the hole, there is something shiny. It looks a little dullish, like it could be another piece of play money. But we're going to find out. I think it is play money because it's really light. But we're going to be careful, just in case. Oh, no, holy crap, do you see that? That looks like a seated dime. Oh my god, I just got sat down. <laughs> Yeah, baby. Oh, my God. I just got sat down. I thought that was going to be play money. I honestly thought that was going to be play money. Hang on. Let me get my foo-foo juice here. Zoom in just a little bit and see if we can clean this sucker up. Wow. Oh, yes. Look at it. It's gorgeous. Oh, you can't see it. I'm sorry. I'm trying to spray. And look at that, while I'm doing stuff, trying to keep you guys in mind, and I missed. 1890, seated dime, sweet. I just got sat down, brothers and sisters. Check that out, let's see what the other side looks like. Whoop. I'm zoomed in, so it's messing me up. Sorry about that. Ooh, that water feels good to my leg. Oops. The other side is a little bit crispier. Yeah, it's some sort of gook right there. Got some plants on it now, but all in all, not bad. I'll clean it up better when I get home, but I just got sat down. Heck yeah. <laughs> If that's the only silver I find for the day, that's worth it. I'll tell you what. Nice. Let's keep going. Almost lunchtime. All right. Down here in the gravel, there was something right down there. I got it. I think I hit it, too. <laughs> uh, it's right over here. You can see it right there. On its side, I have no idea what it is. It's penny size, so it could be a memorial. I don't think it's a Zinkin. Could be an Indian head. Could be a wheat penny. Place your bets and see what you think it is. It was coming in 23 or 24 ish. So I'm thinking it's probably just going to be a memorial. Let's find out. And it is really crusty so that I can't tell what it is. It's a penny. Wow, is that. Does that suck or what? It's so badly, because I'm in the gravel, I told you stuff was going to be crappy when it comes out of here. I can't even tell what it is by the back. Wow, that's bad. Uh, let's see if there's a date, if I can tell by the date. Oh, this is going to be a wheat penny, I'll be dang. But, see if you can tell. Oh, there's, there's, okay. 
one scent starting to peek through right there in the middle if you look really close now that it's drying out on the back but that is a nasty looking one isn't it let's keep going Alrighty, this was a really strange signal, and as you can see, I've uh, changed over to the uh, do rag to act as a sweatband because it's in it's sunny now and uh, I'm getting hot. This was a really goofy signal, though. Really, it was ringing up like a um, just a regular zinc penny, but it was showing really deep, and I'm in the area here where I'm out of the gravel and the dirt. So I decided to take a chance and dig it, and I, I swear I see our silver rim down here in the side of the hole. I want you guys to see what you, s and see if I'm, if you see the same thing. Okay, if you look right down there, doesn't that look like a silver rim? Oh my god, you know what that is? I just uncovered enough of it, I know what it is now. It's a freaking bottle cap. Doggone it! I'm almost positive. Either that or it's a giant ring. I can't find my thing. Let me get my... Well, it's not a bottle cap. I don't think. No, it's hollow. Um, it's not what I thought it was, though. Dang it, that could be a bottle cap actually, I don't know, but it's junk. Doggone it, I thought I saw it. I thought I had a quarter on edge. <sighs> you know, I'm not going to complain too much. I got sat down. But don't do that to me. That's, that's mean, it's just cruel. Well, I kind of hate to end on a epic bazinga like that. But, you know, sometimes that's that's exactly how things happen for the day. Uh, I can't say I am completely um, devastated or anything by it because I got some really good other stuff. Um, I took a chance going to this one place. I knew because it was a old school that was condemned and um, available to the public to go detect it had probably been detected pretty heavily and I highly suspect it had because there was an annoying lack of good signals in a lot of spots but also it was like a lot of spots that I go to um, it was highly highly trashy so you really had to pick through the trash to get to some of the good stuff uh, and in the back section of it it was all that gravelly fill stuff that was very hard to dig in and I, I suspect a lot of people would have gone back there and just given up it was it was a mess to dig in but <laughs> sometimes persistence is what you need to get the good stuff so let me show you what good stuff we came away with and there we go other than the clad some zincans uh, this is interesting I did find this there, Veterans Crisis Line uh, tag. I, I hope somebody didn't lose this and, and lose their faith or something like that. Um, and then previous, uh, another hunt that I went on, I found a disabled American Veterans tag that would normally have a person's name put in the back section of this for contact information. Uh, but that, was, that part was missing. All I found was this. Um, tiny little thing. It almost reminds me of the rowl on a spur. I think that's what they're called. Um, this, I don't think it's old. It looks familiar, but I'm not sure what from. Um, got that silver wash buckle, probably from about the 50s or 60s, something like that. Um, some clad that was getting down there. Almost got me a silver quarter. I've gotten way too many of those this year. Way too many. Uh, all the way down to a couple of 59 pennies. Then we get into the good stuff. I had a couple of these that were back in that gravelly section that were unknown. I don't know what the dates are. I can't get them to be revealed. But the other stuff got way on down there. I, I know I found that one that was a 1913. I didn't know one of these was a 1911 though. So a couple that were really close to being additional Indian heads. Um, got this play money, the one thin dime. Uh, there's the 10 side of it, 
and then I think it actually flips like this. Uh, it doesn't have one. It just says thin dime play coin and then the three dots on the side. It's a really good image of it right there. And it is. It is super thin. They are right. It is thin. I am amazed at how good that Equinox finds play money. I found other play money like that very deep before. And like I said, this thing was every bit of seven or eight inches deep. It was a little bit on the scratchy side, but it was a good detectable signal it was obvious that you should dig it um so i did and i got it find of the day really is this beauty right here did not expect this i thought this was another play money like you saw there um just super surprised when this sucker came out of the ground this was in that gravelly section too so it is toasted it is wiped uh, 1890 seeded dime and if you look at the back the back's even worse it is got something over the one cent there I don't think there is any kind of a marking I don't know exactly where the uh, or if there is a uh, the foundry that, that made these, I don't know where that gets put on these. Very happy to have that, though. <laughs> that that was totally unexpected. I guess, are any of them really ever expected, though? And then a couple of Indian heads. 1865, that is beautiful. Look at that thing. Just look at that. That's gorgeous. And you can still see feathers in the headdress there. Uh, the details of the feathers, that is. Uh, backside is still pretty good, too. You can see, if you look in the shield, the shield has those bars, and each bar has individual little stripettes or striations, and you can still see them. So this thing is in excellent condition. For 1865, I'm very surprised by that. And then another one. Sorry about that. Hit something on the camera I wasn't supposed to. The 1903. I'm not even sure the 1903. Oh, maybe it's in equally uh, as good condition. or I don't know. I don't think it's in as good a condition really as the 1865. If it is, it's close. So, but guess what? I have bonus stuff too. Uh, I was out detecting this morning. Um, it is supposed to rain today. It's been cloudy and gray all day. It was supposed to be raining all day. Uh, and actually when I was out, I was only out maybe hour and a half at most. Somewhere between an hour, hour and a half. I'll, I'll say an hour and a half. Um, and it was even lightly sprinkling on, on me during most of that. Um, Went. To, I ended up just going right down the street to an old school. I've only been to it once. And when I went there, I didn't even know it was there, even though it's right down the road from me. Because uh, it's a section of the town I don't ever have a reason to drive down this road. Um, but I met another local detectorist named Kent. Uh, we've been trying to get together to metal detect forever. Probably won't happen until we retire at this rate. Although, I'm still trying. We still we still got to work something out. Um and uh, he lives right down the road. He's closer than I am. And he's been to this little school location many, many times uh, with his, I believe he has an AT Pro. Uh, quite capable guy. Um, pounded this thing to death. Uh, it's a great place to go if you just need to get out and, you know, unwind for a little bit. And you got a place like this right down the road. It's, it's hard to resist it. Uh, even on a semi-busy road, it's fairly secluded, which is rare. So it's really comfortable place to go to, and it's it's pretty. It's a really pretty location. Um, the last time I went there, when I met Kent, um, I hadn't had my Equinox that long, maybe a year. So I had a good number of hours in with it. But at that point, you're really just getting to learn your machine well. Uh, you're not a master of it, so I guess you could say. I've had 
probably four more years worth of experience with it now, three at least. Um, and I've, I've got probably a maybe a couple thousand hours on that detector now. It's it's a lot of hours, so I know it a little bit better. Um, the first time I went, I really found nothing of interest at all, and that was, Kent said he had detected this place heavily, so that's, um, you know, that's, that's what you would expect. Um, when somebody that knows what they're doing goes into an area to detect it, they're going to do a pretty good job of clearing it out. And uh, it was pretty well cleared out from what I could tell. I didn't find anything. So when I went there today, I thought, what the heck? It's right down the road. It's going to rain. I might as well stop here and try something. And for the first little bit, I didn't find much of anything. Just, you know, some modern, a couple of modern coins and stuff. Um, and a lot of mosquitoes. <laughs> Well, I take that back. Um, about 20 minutes in, I found a harmonica reed, which I did not expect. Although, this thing rang up exactly like, almost exactly like a zinc penny. But here's the difference. Here's knowing your detector. A zinc penny on the Equinox will ring up about 21. If it starts to get, it'll bounce between 20 and 21, really, for at least on mine. As it starts to degrade, it'll get even bouncier, maybe 19 to 21, and sometimes it'll even go down 18 up to 22, whatever. But it has that certain sound to it. You just know that's a zinc penny. This had the same kind of numbers, but it was stuck on 21. It was very solid, and it sounded bigger and crisper than a penny does. Uh, and it was also showing a bit deeper. It, it showed about five inches, but it was actually deeper than five inches because it was a bigger target. It ended up being close to a foot down. Um, but knowing your detector, if you were just eliminate, eliminating out anything that looked like a zinc penny, it's really easy to look at this and say, it's a zinc penny, I'm not going to dig it. As you know it, you automatically recognize those really subtle differences, though. And in this case, it helped me pull out a harmonica read. So let me show you what I did come away with. It's kind of interesting. Kent, I'm sorry, brother, but there's a couple of items that I was really surprised to find. Let me show you. Check this out. This is just a little bit uh, of... Uh, the, the rest was all garbage. Um, I cleared out a bunch of uh, nails for you, Kent, so uh, it might be easier to find stuff. Now, this was a nice little square nail that was down there. How the heck, this, what, is it, I don't know what the, if that's a railroad spike or what. It looks a little small for a railroad spike, but good heavens, when that came out of the ground, I was surprised. There's this harmonica reed, the entire thing, it was unbent. This is untouched. So, really, really thrilled for that. Um, some clad couple of Canadian coins, a 64 and a 67 penny, and I'll show you the 67. That one is rather interesting. You know, we have our centennial and bicentennial coins. So does Canada. Check this out. It's a 1967 um, Canadian penny, and that is actually a rock dove on the back. And this is a uh, in comm commemoration of, Cantan of Canada's Centennial of Confederation. Um, what's a Centennial of Confederation, you might ask? I asked the same question because I wasn't really sure. Um, to our neighbors to the north, I'm sorry. This is why I metal detect, because I learn stuff when I do. Um, but it is the process by which the three colonies of Canada, Nova Scotia, and New Brunswick... Uh, were united into one federation called the Dominion of Canada. Um, also, at this time, this was July 1st, 1867, that this happened, the province of Canada, there was a big province of Canada, was split out into the provinces of Ontario and Quebec. And I don't know if there's been some changes in um, the number of provinces since then. I don't know if the borders are still the same on those or not. I suspect not, so... 
Um, that's one thing I'll have to go do is look up some of the history of the provinces of Canada. But cool, I didn't know any of that. Now when I see one of these Canadian coins with a rock dove on the back, I'll understand what that's actually for. The last two items I did not expect to find out of this site are these. 1887 Indian head. This one is pretty darn white as well. And look at that. It's really toasty. I mean, it's so toasty the camera's even having a hard time focusing on it. And 1896. This one's in much better shape. Indian head penny. Never expected to find that out of this site. <laughs> no way. No how. I would have bet you a hundred bucks I would never have found one of these there. And I would have been a big loser then. So, I mean, I could have really filmed this one site here and had a decent little video out of it with the harmonica reed and the, the spike and all that kind of stuff. But I didn't. I was just out for trying to beat the rain and... Um, it really never did rain, so I could have probably done it, but uh, I didn't know that at the time. Um, you get out and detect, guys. Go find the places and uh, just get out and have some fun. The more fun you have doing it, the more you're going to want to do it. And the more you do it, the more you learn and the more comfortable you are with your detectors. Um, but what a weekend for about... Five and a half hours of detecting was all I got in this weekend. I got sat down, I got some play money, got a bunch of wheats, and I got four Indian head pennies and a harmonica ring and a spike. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do with that thing. It's... Oh well. But anyway, hope that you guys got something out of this. And uh, I'll talk to you guys next time.